friends. Today I'm going to share with you how to make our bleeding tissue background for our mixed media pandas. So you're going to have a bunch of blue and green tissue paper at your table. What you're going to do is kind of separate them if they're not separated already. And we're going to use these for our background. When I'm working with tissue paper and using the bleeding tissue paper technique. What I like to do is kind of take my water and get my paper wet first. And that's going to help the tissue paper stick to my water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some green and I'm just going to stick it down in kind of a pattern. You can see this bit's not sticking down. I'm gonna have to go back and get some more water. Um, but all I'm gonna do is just wet a little bit of my paper and then stick some tissue paper down. And I'm gonna fill up this whole paper. So I can see I need a little bit more water. I can even paint right over top. So I wanna make sure that everything is good and stuck. And you wanna do just a little bit of water at a time so it doesn't get too messy. If it gets a little messy, that's okay. All right, so let me finish up the bottom real quick. So I finished up with the grass. I'm adding a little bit more water to make sure everything's wet. Now I'm gonna move on to the sky. So I'm gonna use blue. I'm putting it in a pattern. You can pick whatever pattern you want or you don't have to have one. Be creative with it. Make sure you're getting that paper wet before you add the tissue. And then you can go back and add a little bit more water over top. See how I added the water on the paper? And now I'm going back to make sure everything's wet. You want to make sure that all of the tissue paper gets nice and wet so that that color stays on your paper when we're all done. And that's it. That's how to create your bleeding tissue paper collage. Now it's your turn.